and I'm Kendria. I need you to go like, follow, and subscribe. Soul Productions. What's up, everyone? And this is Next Level Thinking. What's up, everyone? It's another episode of Next Level Thinking. It's your host, Chris Holmes, as always, as we help you bring you to the next level and stay encouraged. But today I have a special guest with me by the name of... Matt Bertram. Awesome. So go ahead and tell the audience a little bit briefly about yourself, because I see you got the stack of books and much more, so I know you're packed with knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, I used to read about a book a week. I, I, I had some kids, so it's, it slowed down a little bit, but I uh, used to read about a book a week all the time. Um, love reading, love learning. I run a digital agency uh, out of Houston, Texas. Uh, basically, um, you know, my, my mom works for Microsoft. I've seen like the rise of the digital age. I've always been kind of involved with it. Uh, I love what the internet can do. Um, you know, uh, I really am an expert in SEO more than anything else, like search engine optimization, but we do all kinds of stuff for clients. We have to build websites, ties in SEO. I have a videography company, ties in SEO. You know, like, so th there's a lot going on. We have a podcast we've been doing for about 10 years on internet marketing. It's called The Unknown Secrets of Internet Marketing best SEO podcast. Um, you know, I don't know, man, I'm just all about internet marketing all the time. And right now it seems like with everything that's going on, um, digital is where you want to be, right? Yeah, you're right where you want to be. So. It's like you got in the early and just in, so like just in the nick of time. And I didn't even expect that you like, you already had like a family member in Microsoft. So you were drilled in to kind of like, just kind of throw humor reminds me of like the documentary was Microsoft or like Facebook age getting into it early and right before like the rest of the masses like dives so, in. So like LinkedIn, I was probably one of the first people on LinkedIn. Like, oh, like people were like signing up for LinkedIn. I actually had like LinkedIn, I generated a lot of business and I had like alerts set up in LinkedIn. And I was like, if people hit these three criteria, send me an alert. And I was getting alerts like every day of everybody like getting on LinkedIn. Like it was like, I saw that whole thing. Um, you know, I was in college when uh, Facebook hit, right? So I was like, you know, cause I was EDU. Right. So mm. I've seen this like whole thing grow. I mean, if you think about it, the internet's still young, man, like, internet's like, like in the twenties, right? Like, like teenager really. And, and with all this Bitcoin stuff and, and, and cryptos and all that, like, like who knows where it's going to go, how it's going to evolve, how virtual reality is going to kind of play into this um, because it continues to change how social media uh, ties in everything like mm -hmm. it, it's really just quite fascinating and I, I really love that like I'm like immersed in it right it's like it's not something I do like part-time it's something that like I just love it so much I get to do it all day I get to look at data I get to see what's happening I you know everything's constantly changing all the time so you got to kind of stay on your toes um, and uh, it, it's just quite fun I mean I, I wake up every day like I, I, I want to work on the weekends like I want to work Monday morning like I love just go, uh, you just ready to dive yeah. into it so we can definitely tell yeah. that you're very passionate <laughs> and, and that's a great thing because you should be passionate about the work that you do because that means you're gonna put all your much effort in and much more into getting it done so like that's uh, already you said a good amount of like good jewels but uh i want you to go a little bit more in detail of the importance of having a social media or internet presence because even though we have this as you said like as a baby you know you still have some of the older generation that I have is wealth, but they're like, ah, oh, that's uh, the teenagers, whatever. But they don't understand that this is the new way that's coming in. So I want you to go ahead and go a little bit more detail into that. Sure. So really all these different uh, social media platforms, what they are is just platforms, right? It's people learning how to connect or connecting in a different way. Um, you know, snail mail or like, right, you got like radio that became TV, that became internet. You got you know, snail mail that became instant messenger, which became, you know, Facebook messenger, which became like, you know, Facebook DMing and all that kind of stuff. You got like uh, bandit signs, right? People put all those signs like around uh, town, that's AdWords, right? Like it just, everything continues to evolve with technology, but people are still the same. They're still interacting. They're still connecting. Facebook's like a, a, a social party, like 24 seven. LinkedIn's like a business party, those business groups on LinkedIn 24 seven. Like, so everybody's doing the same things. You just, you, it's just a different medium. Like if you're the guy that goes to the networking event and like pushes your cards on people, 
right away and then you like walk out and then you wonder why you didn't get any business and then you do that thing on same thing on LinkedIn or Facebook where you're just kind of hitting people with stuff and, and you wonder why people don't respond it's the same thing as like what you'd be doing in person like so think about how you do things in person and do those things online and 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 that's really all that is I mean if you're talking about your business um, there's digital infrastructure right so you have your brick and mortar maybe location and then you got your digital infrastructure and your digital infrastructure needs to reflect uh, your uh, brick and mortar location if you don't have brick and mortar location you're trying to build uh, your company if you're trying to set up a side hustle or whatever you do it the same way as you do it before you're passing out flyers you're interacting with people you're going to networking groups you're building like who you are as your personal brand and in today's day and age you build yourself as an expert and then tell people, Hey, come to me for this. And then, uh, people come to you for that. Like, you know, I actually, you know, I said all my books, like, like nice. I took all the like 500 books, man. Like this, like probably is like 300 books. Honestly, uh, a couple years ago, I just like, I highlight them up. Like I, I'll treat them like little workbooks and I just put it all together with like my personal story here. So if you trade on your name, if you're, you know, a, a business coach, a life coach, a lawyer, a doctor, a plastic surgeon, a plumber, like anybody that like trades on their name of like who they are as an expert. Um, I, I lay out some different ways to, to utilize social media, to utilize um, SEO, to utilize, uh, you know, PR online. That's what really like SEO is and digital assets to, to share the story and to share your expertise, you know, also like testimonials, right? Like even like on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, honestly, um, from a social media share point, it's really blowing up because they're trying to promote that. There's not a lot of content creators, but mm -hmm. you know, you got, you got that area of like your resume where people would like, you go, here's my resume. And then like, here's a couple of reviews, right. Of, or testimonials or reference letters, right. Reference letters that people would give you. Well, you know, let's take that to the next level, right? Like a like, video reference, just like right? A video reference like <laughs> is like, like LinkedIn needs to add like videos to the testimonial section in my opinion, right? Because like, that's even more convincing when someone's like, Hey, my name is Matt Bertram. I work at eWeb results. And this guy right here is awesome. Like people don't fake that. You know what I mean? Like it's more, it's more, um, genuine, right? It's more realistic. And it's not just like, you know, some made up person. Like you want to see a picture of somebody. It's all about, it's all about human interaction. Right. And that's, that's what the internet is. It's just, a different medium to do that. Like, I mean, I'm seeing your, all the different social media platforms or your digital persona is kind of coming together as one digital persona. You can't hide. You can't have like, I do this over here on Facebook. And then like, here's my business stuff over here. Like you can't, you can't hide anymore. Also your business, you want to connect the two, right? So like a virtual tour of your showroom might be a good way to show that, right? Or, Hey, who you are as a person, like people are going to know, like, or trust you if they want to do business with you. So like if your website doesn't have any videos of you, of who you are, like how do they know uh, if they want to do business with you, they're going to all make that decision on the website. The more um, you can connect with them, the, the greater likelihood they're going to do business with you. Just like in a networking group, like people got to get to know you. And really that's what the internet's about is kind of, um, broadcasting and connecting with people of who you are and if you focus on that you just go hey here's different tools in the toolkit of how to do it you know what I mean yep and that's all great information so like a lot of different key points so you are providing like a huge amount of value already <laughs> so I'm just letting you go just being honest so I have some more questions I want to add on to it but before we go there like I want you to kind of like back up a little bit and tell the audience a little bit more about you so they can tell uh, like where this person came from and how he came to the person he is today because you are already providing expert information from relationships, social media, and all that much more. So I kind of like want to hit a slight little brick on this a little bit so they know a little bit more about you yourself. Yeah, no, so my origin story really, uh, like I said, I've kind of been around the internet for a long time, uh, always been kind of techie. Um, and you know, I got into just a corporate sales job with Fortune 500 uh, and, and, uh, you know, I was driving around to different businesses, calling on them. Uh, I was a pharmaceutical salesperson in Florida and, uh, then, then, uh, you know, Oh nine hit and I moved back to, uh, Texas and I was like, what am I looking to do? No one was hiring. I, I really took an all commission sales job on the phone. Okay. What? So 
<laughs> so I was caught like, like, I mean, there was nothing else going on. Right. So, um, I, I just, I started blowing people up on the phone. I was getting hung up on boom, 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 boom. And then I learned how to like talk to people and I got pretty good at it. I started that my own company. Much more. Yeah. I grew that. I flipped that company in my twenties. Um, I, 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 I kind of built on that success. Uh, I did a startup, wasn't quite as successful there, but everything that I was doing was looking at how do I, how do I, you know, audit, like become more efficient? How do I automate? How do I reach more people? How do I get my message out there? And I was more and more using, uh, social media, uh, email automation, um, text automation. Um, how, how do I create, uh, more time, right? Like how do I, how do I, use, like, I was like, you how do I use technology, <laughs> right? I was like, how do I use technology to like do what I'm doing more? And, and all roads led to internet marketing. Okay. Like they all led to internet marketing. So, I mean, like, I just like, really, like I started reading books on stuff that I want to know about. I started watching YouTube videos. I was taking like Udemy courses. Like I'm all self-taught. Like you don't, I, I have a marketing degree from school. I went to Texas A&M, but, but like they weren't teaching this kind of stuff. Like you had to like learn mm. it. Right. And so, um, so, so I just kind of really kind of evolved. I connected with people in, in the industry and just like that thirst for knowledge. I just kept learning. I kept learning. And really it's like, if someone's been in the business like 10 years, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've been in it like two, three years, whatever, but like, are they constantly learning when they're in it? Like how much time are they investing to getting better? Like, I mean, I was putting in like 24 seven, like all I was like every, everywhere I was, I was like, reading now, a I got to go ahead and say this now because like <laughs> that is what's going to really separate you from the rest of the companies. And that's great because it, I'm going to use a sports reference. It's like the Mamba mentality. Like when you, you know what your passion, your skill is and know what you are destined to do. And once you know that you just key into it. Like while well, most people are like, like mm -hmm. taking a break, like, oh, okay, let's go party or do something like that. You're like, no, I need to learn more. You know what it is. Like, oh, that was okay, but I can do great. And you're constantly making stuff improving much more. And that's what it really takes to be really great at something. It's just maximizing your time to be effective and efficient with everything you're doing. Because a lot of people use their time, but are they really effective and efficient? It's a different kind of story. Yeah, I mean, like I can tell you, I actually, um, it, you know, uh, we were doing like, a, we, we have like a, a, a third party, like accounting firm that like reconciles what we're doing. We're looking at everything we did in like 2018, 2019, like where we're at right now, like everything that's going on, looking at making decisions. And there was some like crazy data points, right? So like two, two years ago, um, the company grew 50%. Okay. okay. Um, and then last year we doubled. So we're yep. a multi million dollar company right now. And we doubled in one year. Okay. And when I was in my twenties, I, I grew a multi-million dollar company too. And like the growth curve looks like this. And so the thing is like, if there's people out there from a, a, a mentality standpoint, if they've like lost their job or like they're trying to get something else going or like, they're just like, like, like they don't feel that their luck can change. You know, you can make your own luck. Um, because I've made a million dollars in one year, multiple times. Okay. okay? So in that, one year from nothing, from nothing to $1 million in one year. So if you can do that, like what possible. can't you do, man? Mm -hmm. Like, and, and one thing I want to <laughs> ask you now is like, of course, what you do in your business and much more, what is the, some of the things that you say uh, when you're offering a service? Cause I know, especially from someone from a standpoint of like, I don't know that there may be that fear and they're like, oh, but I heard this, like, what do you tell them? to actually help them understand the true value of using internet marketing and much more having the internet. Well, so, so I can say like, if you talk to me or you talk to somebody else, they're going to have a different viewpoint. Um, I can tell you that I was talking like, so, so like kind of tying into something I was talking about before. So like there is a guy here in Houston that's like been doing this like 12 years and like we hit it off and we synced up and like, he didn't know how long I had been doing it at the time but I was just reading like books, like, but I could talk on like his level so quickly because I had put so much time in. And I was like, Hey man, like, like I'm talking to clients and it's taking like a multiple meetings to get someone convinced that they should work with me. Right. Mm -hmm. And I go like, I want to charge them for my time because like, I don't have time to keep talking Wait, to people. Yeah. And he's like, no, man, you can't do that. And I was like, well, I'll offer it to him money back guarantee. 
I was like, and that, you, I've heard right? that many times. It's like, look, it kind of like lowers the guard, like money back guarantee if you don't get enough value. Keep going. And, and, then, and then I say, hey, whatever you spend with me, I'll apply it to the services. Okay. So basically, like there's data of like people would rather not lose something than gain something. So even if my services are more expensive than somebody else, but they've already invested this amount, they don't want to lose that money. So, so a lot of times they'll go with me. Well, they go with me a lot because I'm the best, right? But like, I, that's what I think. <laughs> I like but, but, but I'm going to just, I like, I can tell you creating like a, a like a, a sales process or like what the next step is because people like you talk, you talk, you talk. They're like, well, what do we do next? And I was like, well, here's the next step. And what that did for me is I said, look, man, I'll do a free consultation call with you. If, if you think that there's value here, Let's, let's do a paid consulting call. It's money back guarantee or apply against the services. And like, if they come back to me asking me for kind of more information, right? Cause you're, 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 you know, you get in this role of like, whatever, you know, you're coaching people for free. I was like, look, man, I have a podcast. You can check that out. Like I'll do these free group consulting calls where I'll kind of talk in general and I'll answer some questions. But if you want one-on-one -on -one time with me, like, if you want to know what I know, man, go read this book. This is what I knew like three years ago. Like this is everything I knew almost three years ago. But I said, but if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one to your situation, like I only have so much time and I value my time and like, I got to charge for it. But like, if you, if you think I'm BS, I'll give you your money back. Right. Um, now I had to change that because, uh, people were coming back to me like a year later and going, man, like I need my money back. And I didn't have anything in like my, like, <laughs> like, like my terms and conditions. And I yeah. was just like, and they're like, I'll leave you a bad review. And they, they were like holding me hostage. And I was just like giving the money back. But, but I mean, in two years, like probably doing 50 or a hundred consulting sessions, three people asked for their money back. Okay. So Good like, so, yeah. right. So like, like people are fearful of like money back guarantee, but like if you are confident in your service, then, then you're good. And like how many of those people if they didn't have that low barrier to entry, wouldn't have like gotten into it and talked to me. And also if they, if you're charging them, they're going to listen to you more. Right. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of things that like therapists people don't want you, to waste their money. They're like, I paid my money. Yeah. For this. yeah. So, so for me, I just created kind of this process of like, here's how you work with me and these kind of three simple steps. And this is the next step. And, and like, you know, I've had one or two people come back to me and go, Hey, I want to do this. I want to do that. And I'm like, Hey, like, you know, we spent X amount of time together. Like, I really want to work with you, but if you want to work with me to take it to the next level, here's the next step. And what that did is a lot of people that were like coming to me, I was like, I don't have time to do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Like I just have, I have too many people that I'm working with. Um, and, and I, and I gave them a clear path. Right. Mm -hmm. And so what you, maybe what you do in the beginning is you give, 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 or, you know, you're talking about you know, Gary Vee earlier. Yeah, because like, that's like exactly give, what they're in my head. Right, right, right give, 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 or whatever is like left to that, that right hook. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, so like, like position yourself as an expert because everybody knows more about something than somebody else in some area, right? Like right. you got like a bunch of hats behind you and like, like you might be a hat guy, right? Like you got like different hats. Yeah. So like if I'm like, hey, like I want to, start wearing hats, right? Because whatever UV rays is stronger. And then like, I'm like, Hey man, like, like what kind of hats should I get? Like, what do you think? Like you would be able to educate me on that. Like that's just an example, right? Yeah. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that everybody knows something. And like, if you find somebody that's passionate about something or somebody that's done something that you want to learn how to do, go to that person and go, Hey, I want to learn. And, and, and I'm glad you, know, you said that because yeah. so many people, are afraid to just ask it's like i think it's sometimes a mixture of like pride and ego but if you really think about it we have to learn from someone even from our parents coaches and things like that i mean people who are successful have coaches and they constantly you know look for advice even michael jordan had a coach so i just wanted to put that in as you um continue to go but definitely don't be afraid to ask questions go well i mean in this information age all the information is pretty much free right like it's just do you want to go get it right? Do you want to, do you want to go learn it or do you want someone to feed it to you? Right? Like I think that that's like the difference or like, Hey, I got this information. I just need a sounding board to get through that. But you know, that's what I do a lot. Like there are businesses that come to me that are like trying to start with ideas and they, they pay me. And I go like, there's been two people like this year so far that came to me and I was like, Hey, like I've seen a lot of businesses take off. Like I think that's a bad idea and here's why. And then here's how you might pivot to go after that. 
right? Mm. And, 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 I, and I try to explain it to him in a way of like, hey, like I'm saving you a bunch of money and time because you don't want to invest that and for and it to it not work out, crash. right? And, and, it, and if people are, again, like, like I have to do like normal kind of business coaching, I guess, but more it's really like whatever your business is, if you have a good product or service, but you're trying to get it out online, what are the most effective methods? Where do I spend my money? How do I do it? And then I got like a, well, I got an 18 person agency now. I, I actually, with all of that going on, I had to furlough a couple of people. Mm -hmm. um, but, but basically I got 18 people and I, I can help execute those strategies. Right. And then I built actually some productized services, you know, in SEO and videography uh, and paid ads of like, not just, Hey, Facebook ads aren't a magic, magic bullet. You need to build a whole sales funnel. So you need Facebook ads, you need AdWords, you need a landing page, you need, uh, you know, retargeting or remarketing, you need some email drips, you need some yeah. text messages. So, so that's the thing is people are like, Hey, I tried internet marketing. It doesn't work. And I was like, well, what did you try exactly? How did you try it? Was it to the right target audience? Did you have a unique selling proposition? You know, uh, how, how did you reach these people? Like there's a lot of things that go into it and you, you gotta, you gotta see the whole picture to see if it works. Right. And then also the way things are happening now, it ain't, it, well, I'm like, I know, let me say you pro proper grammar. It's not the way that it was back in the day when you could use AdWords and use three cents a click. Now clicks are 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 125 bucks. Mm -hmm. Like there's a market. So, so you can't just throw a bunch of spaghetti at the wall and hope it sticks before you could just buy sheer volume or even like when I was talking about sales, you could just blow people up, tell you, want to buy a chicken, want to buy a chicken, want to buy a chicken. Like you <laughs> no, had to like, you know what I mean? You, you had to like get good at it of like keep people on the phone and also calling the right people. It's all about the right targeting mark, the, the right target market to go after. So there's a lot of just different things to, to go into to consider. Um, so, when you're so getting with, into this stuff. So, so with that said, because this is a whoosh, good lot of, a lot of, crap, um, a lot of information. So I'm I got a lot of energy, right. man. Hey, look, I love it. I love it, though. But I'm going to tell you right now, you may have to rewind this a couple of times because a lot of great value information because he had from sales funnels, retargeting, and all that and much more. So, like, um, bring it back just a little bit. What would you suggest to a person who just started, like, you know, trying to do that side hustle? Because, of course, I, I know you provide a lot of the. I, I understand where you're coming from because I, you know, SEO and all that much more. But what would you tell a person who came from a traditional nine to five or just trying to start into entrepreneurship? What should they do to start? So I think that you can build an audience and you can position yourself as an expert through content generation on whatever platform you're most comfortable with. Um, today, right? You don't even have to have necessarily a product. You mean like right um, now? Cause you know, people are going to like, wait a minute, I don't have a product yet. You mean right now? <laughs> like while, well, while, while you're coming up with your product, right. And, and really don't just come up with something like solve a problem. Like that's the biggest problem I've seen entrepreneurs. They don't actually really solve a problem. They like have a product and they're like, how do I sell this? Right. And it's like, no, like there's gotta be a need that, that you figure out, but also it's gotta be something you're passionate about. So I would say what you can do right now, it doesn't cost you any money is start generating content like this, video content, uh, image content, uh, picture, you know, pictures or whatever, sharing stuff, uh, writing blogs, text messages, like generate some content for people to consume um, in an area that you're an expert about, share kind of some of those things uh, on whatever platform you're comfortable with. And, and, and then by the time, um, oops. Oh, you good? There we yeah, go. Yeah, my phone's, phone's a, uh, running out of juice here, but uh, find 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 whatever that is, and just be uh, publishing that content and build that audience, and then figure out whatever it is they need or whatever you want to share with them um, down the road. But I think like even if you're working in a job, I mean, if you're like right now, if people are working from home, they're probably not working 100 percent, right? Like fit like start start making some content. I'm doing this here with my phone, right? So if you have yep. a smartphone. Like hey, that's all you constant. need, right? It's like it's you can't, like no you don't need, you don't need like all this, like, you know, equipment or whatever, right? Like, yeah. you know, like. Or like just, this little Delta, my little computer that didn't want to act right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like you, you, just, you just do it with your phone. Like, I think the biggest thing that people have is like, they, 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 they like figure out a way to 
to not do Pick it. Pick themselves like, out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and, 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 and you just start doing it. Like, I didn't like how I sounded. I didn't like what I was saying. Yeah, I didn't like, like too, how I looked. Right. You know, yeah. like, but you just a, like, know, it's who you are. Right are the biggest <laughs> thing. Like, I don't like how I look. I don't like how I sound. I don't think I said that right. And it ha some guys and girls. Like it surprised me, like guys. I was like, "What? Like, bro, you you do not do like, man. I mean, give me a fresh haircut first. I'm like, bro, <laughs> that's great. <crazy. laughs> just, just, just like, just go. go. Like my that's like my advice is like, just go. Just like, do have it, a, nice have, it. A, have a plan though, right? Have a yeah. plan. Like have like where you're trying to get to. Okay, like know that or like, hey, I want to talk about this or I'm passionate about that or whatever it is. But 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 don't. Like I, I was just on a, I have a, a, a standalone ER that's actually like blown up right now. Like, I mean, everybody else is kind of not working. Right. But like right now, um, like they're, they're trying to create some PR, like they're still open. They're a, a, a necessary business. And like, they were talking about all these kind of different things and a GoFundMe account and to help people and this and that. And I was like, these are all awesome things. Those are going to take two weeks to get off the ground what can we do today right now. <laughs> right now? And I'm like, here, let's start generating content. There's other people that have initiatives. Let's get involved in them. Let's share those. Let's do this. And like, basically you're kicking up a bunch of stuff and, 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 and people are going to pay attention to that. And, and pretty soon you're going to create a community or you're going to be part of a community. You don't have to create a community, you just be part of a community mm -hmm. of anything that you're passionate about. And then it gets really easy because like my, my friend group, right. Or whatever mm -hmm. is whoever I contact or communicate with on a regular basis. And through social media, like my friend group has grown all across the United States, actually all across the world. Um, and I'm just active in the communities that I'm in. And so like these people are truly like my friends and I'm like, Hey, do you, do you know somebody that does this? Or you, you know, can you hook me up with somebody here? Or Hey, I'm actually looking for this. And like, if they're your friends, they'll help you. Like, and that's the thing is like, like I got past like really caring and I got past like, I'm am who I am and people are going to like me for who I am. And, mm -hmm. and, and if people don't like me, they're not going to do business with me. I don't have time for it. Mm -hmm. And so like the people I connect with and the people I work with, like want to help me. Right. right. And, and that was like one of the big things is when I was becoming an entrepreneur, I worried about what everybody thought. I mean, my parents, my, my parents straight up, <laughs> My parents still think I don't have a real job. And like, even, like I'm, even with me. I'm, I mean, I, I made yeah. more money. Like, I'm just going to say, like, <laughs> my parents are like, like, you, it's not right that you're doing X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, but I am. Like, you know what I mean? I've well, done it multiple well, times. Someone's mind, but like, you making this much? What do you do? You got to do this at home. Like, what? <laughs> well, well, I mean, I know I, I have an office now. But yeah, like, but I'm just saying, out, like, it's the possibilities. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, I could actually make more money doing it all on my own and not having a team. But I like I want a quality of life. Yeah. And all this, but like mm -hmm. in my 20s, I started a business and I was like, I was making like crazy money. And my dad's like, this ain't even right. And I was like, Dad, like, I appreciate like what you're saying. But this is not supportive. This is not helping me. And like, and I'm like, like, this is real. I was like, is Facebook real? Is Google real? Like, look at their stock prices. What are the biggest companies? What I'm doing is real. It's a real job. It's a new job. It's a real job. And, mm -hmm. and, and so, I, you know, that was the thing probably holding me back or a lot of people back is like I kept worrying about what other people were thinking or what think people think of me. I think that's too because a lot of people think of, and a lot of times the people's closest from your parents, even loved ones. I mean, I wouldn't go for a girlfriend, a boyfriend, or your coworkers. I mean, it hits deep, and people don't even go after their dreams and goals because they're worried about that. Um, before you, um, you got a little. I know you have a meeting come up. Uh, you, you have enough time? Because I'm keeping mindful of that. You good? Yeah. Well, I got, I got the I got this meeting like at at twelve. I, I pushed it a few minutes, but like let's. Let, I mean, let's get like I want to. I want to. You know, connect you know, with brother, your audience. Yeah. Help, help. Like, tell me. Tell me whatever you want to know. Like, let's let's get it let's get it out there. Like, let's put it on the record, right? Dude, you, know? you already put out a good enough information right now, so I'm trying to like, I guess you can put the ceiling on. Well, well, so ahead. let's talk about what's going on right now, right? right With, boom, uh, yeah, we're gonna hit on right? that. Like, let's end on that, right? Yeah, let's, so, let's let's end on that, and then we're gonna make sure you put, you know tell people how to reach. I'm gonna have all this stuff in the descriptions as well. But what can people do with everything going on right now? So go. 
well one is you, you got to do it online right like you're stuck at home <laughs> like you like, like this is this is like perfect for for what i'm doing now everybody's kind of freaking out right now like they don't know what to do but like you like how are you connecting with people online how are you operating in this current climate i'm telling you right now from everything that i've read like everybody's reading all this stuff this is not going to be over in a month this is not going to be over in two months and if it's over in three months if it's over in a quarter um businesses are going to be unhealthy okay like they're I mean, they're not going to come right worn back if this is not a short-term thing. So how do you operate in this climate? What are things that people need? Like we've been doing kind of like we're seeing with our clients and we're doing some whiteboarding sessions, Like you got to pivot your business. If you have a current business, like do people need what you need? How do you get it to those people? Right? So e-commerce is uh, blowing up. Um, uh, construction's not stopping. Um, there are certain industries that need stuff. If you service those industries, like, how do you operate in that if you're not like i got a, a window washer okay i got this window washer i got a pressure washer like pressure washer guys like hey man like i gotta cut everything like i don't know what I, like i don't know what's gonna happen like i gotta i gotta i'm gonna wait this thing out right and then i got a window washer that's like hey i just bought these chemicals i bought this machine that like kills like antibacterial stuff or whatever like it like kills the virus like i just bought these or rented these machines like i want to get on uh, Fox and friends news. Like I want to like get the message out there. Like I got, you know, I've been saving money for this. I got to pivot now. Um, like it, it's all about like mentality and, and it's about if, if you have current customers or a current service, how, how do you change the messaging to connect with them to understand that they still need it. And also I think that there's going to be some pent up demand for a lot of these things, but like, you know, like Amazon's just, hiring people i mean they're going to take over the freaking world right like and then businesses are just dying right and so like really think about if you have to operate in this climate how are you going to do that how are you going to connect with people like maybe it's a virtual showroom like i talked about before um maybe it's uh you know doing online networking groups right um maybe it's increasing your customer service so you're like maintaining your existing business of like reaching out to them hey what do i need to do but i, I think it's about changing the story in people's head about how they need to react and if you're offering a product or service that's maybe not necessary or is not like entertainment or desire or whatever like the movie industry is uh uh releasing movies early on netflix right that would be in the movie streaming theater, hmm. right they're gonna stream it like they have to right because you can't get a bunch of people in a movie theater but they're not going to lose out on that revenue now right yeah, and so 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 how are you pivoting it's it it might not be ideal, but it, unless you're like going to just say, Hey, I'm giving up, I'm going to close up shop. How are you going to, how are you going to change the story by either offering a different product or service like pivoting or changing the messaging to say, Hey, you do need this, right? Like I got a patio furniture company that actually is cutting marketing, but they're not stopping marketing. And, and I was like, Hey, let's run some Facebook ads to say, Hey, you're stuck at home. Like why not have some new furniture? to be stuck at home with, right? Yeah. Like, so, so, so the, now's their peak time. There's demand for it. They can still deliver it until it's like on lockdown, like shelter in place. And, and it's like, Hey, if you're stuck at home 24 seven, like upgrade what you got, you know what I mean? So how do you manage what you're doing as opposed to just throwing your hands up and giving up? And I, we've been putting out a lot of podcasts about this. I got articles coming out. We're doing uh, group consulting sessions. We're doing independent consulting sessions with businesses. Like, I mean, I've never been through a pandemic, um, but you if you're stuck not. at home and you think through, you're like, how do I connect with people online? How do I sell my product or service? Like, that's basically internet marketing. Um, so I'm actually saw kind of a dip in demand when everybody's freaking out. And now I'm seeing it starting to, to kind of ramp up. And everybody's like e-commerce, um, you know, going – keep bringing people further through the kind of sales process online. Um, how are people operating from home? How are people working virtually? People are changing just like the internet changed, like how you're interacting with people now with social distancing. Now that's right. That's how it's changing how people are interacting and how are they connecting? Like you just got to kind of project that or kind of look at the data and the trends of what's going on 
and and it's all going online. It's all roads lead to online, you know? Yeah, so. <laughs> great stuff points, you know, and that's great information. So just pretty much killing with and dropping the mic all the time, guys, and <laughs> loving that much more. So, like, um, definitely uh, like the information. Make sure you, because there's a lot of good points. So when you listen to this, especially during this time, uh, take notes and even do even further research, just like he did, and maximize your potential because just because you can't, actually have like a, you know, interact in person, you can pivot or use your imagination and creativity to get things done. Oh. And so don't let, you know, these obstacles stop you. You can get things done. You just uh, think outside the box. So we're going to go ahead and close things up with all this valuable information, steam and hiding much more. Uh, it's your host, Chris Holmes, always bring you valuable information and great guests. And I have my special again, a guest by the name of Matt Bertram with Web Results. Awesome, awesome. So make sure you keep this message going, share to your social media, subscribe, and you know, comment and leave your reviews below because it's going to be posted on all different platforms. And let's keep things going and help you take it to the next level. Peace.